This clip is brought to you by SaveWithConrad.com. Let's also talk about uh, the Royal Rumble. That's the next major pay-per-view, and we would see John Cena defeat Edge to win the title back in 14 minutes and three seconds. This is interesting, I guess, because you know you've got a, a two pay-per-view month. So the, the whole chamber match and New Year's Revolution, and just a couple of weeks later, it's time for the Royal Rumble. We know that the Rumble marks the beginning of WrestleMania season. But my goodness, Edge did a lot very quickly. That's such a memorable cash in. Then the whole silly live sex show. Then the Flair TLC. Was the company not sold on Edge being the top guy quite yet? Or was this more a matter of, hey, it just makes a good story for Cena and sort of gets over our new concept for the cash in? Well, you got to, you got an interesting situation here. One is, you're still building and trying to get Cena over and you're building and trying to get edge over. Uh, and then they're working with each other. So a lot of thoughts got to be given into the creative of that and how finishes are, are structured. Um, but I think maybe your first, uh, suggestion, maybe the office didn't have quite have all the confidence that they wanted in a, in a, in a quasi green talent that edge was because he was known as a tag team guy. Right. And, uh, so his whole voyage as a single star, which, you know, obviously, uh, one of the highlights of WrestleMania for this year for me was that triple threat match, as I mentioned earlier, uh, edge and, uh, and Reigns and Daniel Bryant, uh, they were, they were masterful. And, uh, but it shows how far edge has come. So, but I do think at that point in time, Conrad, my, my guess would be that he was not quite in a comfort level yet. That would make Vince happy, not unhappy. Just, I, I got to see more. He needs more time. He needs more experience. He needs more ring time at this level against this kind of quality competition. That would be my guess on that deal. Because Adam had never had an, we never had any issues with him. You know, he was, uh, he was a, he was a perfect, uh, a, a locker room guy and everybody had time to talk to him and he was just a good dude. So I think maybe it was just the fact that he just quite hadn't proved himself to, to, the, to, uh, VKM at yeah. that point in time. And I might be wrong, but I think that's that would have more to do with it than about anything. Well, now we know that, uh, seen as the guy here again, he beats edge again. We said in uh, 14 minutes and three seconds, triple H is he always the WrestleMania opponent in mind, or was there a thought that, Hey man, we got edge hot enough. Maybe they could have a rematch if you will at WrestleMania. Uh, the, yeah, triple H is always in the picture because he was arguably, uh, the best heel that we had, uh, and certainly was that way for many, many years to his credit. Um, I, I just don't know. I, I always found it somewhat confounding triple H is a heel, right? And a good, and a damn good one. You know, Harley races influence on triple H was very prominent <clears throat> and very obvious, excuse me. Uh, you know, I, I don't know, man. I, I think maybe, uh, I think, uh, I didn't know who the heel and babyface were. And it was a heel match it was edge versus triple H a heel match. Hey, Hey, it's Conrad Thompson. Thanks for checking out the podcast here on YouTube. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notifications bell. So you get a notice anytime we upload some new content and go save yourself some money right now. If you're in a 30 year loan or you have credit card debt, it's not a matter of if I can save you money. It's a matter of how much find out right now for free at SaveWithConrad.com.